Da, 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 da. Oh, hi friends, how's it going? It's me, Mr. Joey. I am so glad that you're here. This month, we're throwing a big parade of thanks. We're gonna celebrate that we can thank God for everything. We know that God is the giver of all good things and he is worthy of all of our praise. When we are thankful, we remember what others have done. If we're gonna throw a big parade, you know what we're gonna need is a big banner. And that is just what I have been working on. Check this out. Look at this. It's gonna be so big. Isn't that cool? This is, a, this is amazing. Really, really big banner. I, do you think maybe it's, it's like, it's too big? I don't know. I think it's just the right size. When it's all done, it's gonna say parade of thanks. And what I was thinking was, is that we could add things on it that we're thankful for. So would you guys mind giving me some suggestions? I'm gonna write them down. Oh, cool, yeah, yeah, thankful for your, for your dog. That's awesome, that's a really good one. I, I love my, my little dog. What else, what else? Oh, your parents, your parents, yeah. Thankful for parents, that's good. Okay, what else? Any, any, any others? School, yeah, that's kind of, some people might not feel that thankful for school all the time, but we can put that down. Yeah, school is really cool. Okay, those are really good options, friends. We have so much to be thankful for. We're gonna keep being thankful all month long, but let's head to the clubhouse where we're gonna do the three things that we do every week. First, we'll work on this month's memory verse. The Bible is written by God, and if God wrote it, then it's important that we remember it. The Bible even tells us to hide the words of the Bible in our hearts. So, when we work on our memory verse, that's what we're doing. Then, we'll worship together. And of course, we're gonna hear an awesome true story from the Bible. And I'll be right here when we get back. See you then. Always give thanks to God. Ephesians 5.20 Always give thanks to God. Ephesians 5.20 I'm
know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you. Thank you. Love, Jayla. Oh, hi, friends. I'm Jayla. And I was just writing a thank you note. And there are a lot of things I can say thank you for. So, what if we have a parade? A parade of thanks! This is so exciting! But, a parade is a lot of work. There's so many things to do. Oh, I know! I can ask my mom to make some parade snacks. And I can ask my sister to help with the decorations. My cousins can help with blowing up all the balloons. And I know my Uncle T can help with building the floats. He's such a great builder. I have a lot of people that can help. This parade is going to be so fun. Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Jayla! Who? Who? Planning a parade, are you? Oh, hi, Ollie! Yes, it's a super big job, but I have a family that can help. Family can be great! It's true! I know a family that helped each other, too! Listen to this story! Just follow me through! Who? Who? Follow me through! Follow me through! Well, hello, friends. I'm Justin the Mailman. There is so much to be thankful for today. Look at this postcard I got from my nephew. He just learned how to write my name. I just love my family, which is what today's story is all about. Do you want to hear it? Great. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. Today's true story from the Bible begins with a woman named Naomi. Look at Naomi's face. Does she look happy or sad? Sad, that's right. Naomi was sad because her husband and sons had died and she was all alone. So Naomi decided to go back to the town where she grew up. But look, this is Ruth. Ruth was married to Naomi's son. Ruth said, I'm your family, Naomi. Wherever you go, I will go. Wherever you live, I will live. Wow, that's awesome. God gave Naomi family to help her. Thank you, God. Can you say that with me? Thank you, God. Naomi was so happy that she and Ruth were family and that she had someone to walk with her. When they got to the town where Naomi used to live, Ruth and Naomi took care of each other. They needed food because they were hungry, so Ruth went to go look for food to eat. Not far from where they lived, a man named Boaz had people working in the fields, gathering all the grain. The fields were like big gardens. As the workers picked the grain, they would leave some food for people who needed food. Ruth saw the grain and began to gather it up to take it home for her and Naomi to eat. Boaz saw her collecting food. When he found out that Naomi was a part of his family, Boaz decided to take care of Ruth and Naomi and make sure that they had plenty of food to eat. Wow! God sent more family to help. Thank you, God. Say it with me. Thank you, God. When Ruth went home to Naomi with good food to eat, Naomi was so thankful. Thank you, God. Say it with me. Thank you, God. God gives us people to call family. All families can take care of each other. 
Thank you, God, for giving us family. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who can you thank for everything? I can thank God for everything. Yes, it's true. Now, let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can you thank for everything? I can thank God for everything. That's the truth, friends. I'll see you next time. So there's your story, and it's all true. Naomi's family helped her, and we can be thankful for our families, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo! Hoo! Wow! Ruth helped Naomi, and then Boaz helped them both. They were thankful to God for their families, and we can be thankful for our families, too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. I'm so thankful to God for my family. I'm gonna find them right now and start parade planning. See you next time. Bye! Wow! Naomi was sad and wanted to return home, and Ruth knew that she needed help and promised to go with her. Then Boaz saw Ruth gathering grain and told his workers to leave some extra behind. These family members helped each other, just as our family should do today. Well, before we go, let's remember that we can thank God for our family and we can thank God for everything. And hey, that reminds me of our bottom line. Let's do it together. When I say, who can you thank for everything? I want you to say, I can thank God for everything. Ready? Who can you thank for everything? That's right, friends. You can thank God for everything. Well, I have loved learning with you. Let's go ahead and pray together. God, we just thank you so much that we have this special season of thankfulness and getting to remember all of the things that we have to be grateful for. You've blessed us with so many good things, and I pray that we would never forget to thank you for all the good things that you give us. We love you so much, and we pray all this in your name. Amen. Amen. Well, it was so good hanging out with you guys. I'm really excited for our parade. I'll see you next time. Bye.